Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Lab. Welcome once again to the Underground Laboratory where we create. What do we create? We create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And we also create comics. We are creating this comic. This is the first issue of my comic, Young and the Dead. It's a kids versus zombie story. It's like Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead. Remember that movie Goonies from the 80s? Have you seen that? If you haven't, you should check it out. And if you have seen it, then you know what it's all about. And my my, my book is kind of in that vein. It's, it's, it's about a, a ragtag group of kids that are up against... In this case, zombies. Now, in Goonies, it was pirates and thugs, and well, the pirates weren't really there. I think they, the pirates were dead. But pirate tre trying to find pirate treasure with a bunch of thugs and gangsters and things like that. But then there's also movies like Monster Squad, where they battle the classic Universal-style monsters and explorers, where they, you know, aliens and all that kind of stuff. E.T. Uh, where they're not really battling anything, other than there are some bad guys, some government bad guys that are after them. But those type of movies, if you like those type of movies, then you'll probably like this book, and it's available at CircWorks.com. And what are we, why are we doing this book? What, what is the why, why are we doing these videos? Well, this is 100 Days of Maine Comics, where we spend at least 30 minutes a day every day working on our own personal comic book project. Today is day 27. So what we do every day is we take this big pad of paper, we take the big giant fat sharpie, and we write the name of the, the day on this paper. And uh, that just that's just to let us know where we're at in the challenge and everything, and then we put that to rest at the end of the video. But we're not gonna go there quite yet, because we still got stuff to do. We got comics to draw and everything like that. So uh, yesterday, if you watched, we went and we were checking out this, this convention where they're releasing new products for you know artists and things like that. And uh, there's still more to see there, so I think we should go back there and check out some of that stuff and work on creating our comic book. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the parallel scope, which allows us to view what? Alternate realities, get out from under the underground layer and get out in the real world and mix and mingle with you guys. So maybe I'll see you around. But for now, let's go to the parallel scope. Heading downtown once again for the second day of Creativations. Let's hop on the light rail. Approaching station, Jefferson and First Avenue. Downtown Phoenix. Exit to right. Yesterday I got a chance to kind of look around and get some ideas and things to inspire me, but today I'm going to check out some products. So we're going to walk on down to the exhibit floor and see what they have here. But before I go out in the hall, there's these display cases I want to check out. This chameleon company is something I really want to see. Uh, these are cool kind of animated stamps. I like how those things work. But yeah, this chameleon company, they've got these really cool markers. I've seen them online and they really are impressive. I think they're going to go Copix a run for their money. Um, so here we are again on the floor. We're just going to take a look around, but let's see. This company's got some really cool paper products. I really like. I, I like what they had, and I kind of like their display and everything. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of papers. This is Testers, which is the company that makes like the model paints and everything. They had kind of a cool booth. I really I like this that kind of industrial look over it with the colors over it and everything. But uh, got to test out some of their paints. Kind of cool. Art bin. Now this is a company I have an art bin, which is like a little caddy to carry your art supplies in, and they're really good products. Almost too good because I've had mine since like the 90s and it still holds up. It's like a it's almost like a fishing tackle box, but you put art supplies in. But they've got some new products out kind of checked out. This is the 3M booth and they had people in there uh, just spraying you know stuff against the walls using their masking tapes. Yeah here you can see so they're doing some some things here but I didn't want to go through all the trouble to suit up like that so I didn't I didn't try that out. <laughs> of course the man Bob Ross and talk about a legacy friend he's been dead for a while but he's still selling products and here's the Marvy booth and I really like their lay pin line 
um, as you can see right here, I've got I've got those. I use them all the time. I used to. That's what I used to ink comics with. The very first tool I used to ink comics were with those uh, the delay pins. But they got all kinds of other stuff. This is a company that sells like paints and things for uh, like like you know D and D like models and little figurines and miniatures and stuff. They had a bunch of cool stuff. This company has some kind of deal with Disney, but every you can see this booth. I don't know if you could tell, but it's all made out of cardboard. So all their products are their paper products, and you can build just all kinds of things out of cardboard. Everything you see here is made out of cardboard, which is kind of cool. And of course, like I said, they've got they've got Disney branded stuff and everything. That Statue of Liberty there, that's all made out of cardboard. But that was really kind of cool to see. And here's some of the some of the things they can you know that you can buy and do crafts and things like that. Kiritaki, those are that's like my favorite brush pen. So I was really excited to check out their booth. And they've got a line of Copic style markers coming out. They're about half the price. So I definitely want to check some of those out. And they've got refills and everything. Not quite as many colors. This is really cool. These are like figurines made. Again, these are made out of paper. And they just come in little kits and you put them together and everything. I don't know if, I don't know if I have the patience for something like that. But uh, but it is cool to look at. And of course, uh, clear bags. I use these guys. when All the stuff that I ship, I use clear bags for all that. So it's cool to see they have a presence there. And of course, the Chameleon booth, which is what I've been wanting to check out. Um, they've got a whole bunch of new stuff. Their markers are super awesome. I'm going to see if I can get one of their reps to give me a little demo right here. It comes in two parts. It's the marker. The marker is double-ended. So we have a bullet nib on one end and we have a brush nib on the other. In the case, this is just like a regular marker. So this here is the part that makes Chameleon different from every other marker. So when I place this on here, you'll see that the two nibs are touching. In here is the colorless blender fluid and what this is doing is diluting the color of the pen to change the color. You can leave that on for 5 to 40 seconds, it depends on the size of the area you're colouring. But now quite simply when I colour, you see how I start off with a hint of colour, uh -huh. and as you colour out... And it's pretty solid, and I assume when you go back, oh ok, you press it, alright. And it goes back to the original tone of the pen, so you get this beautiful gradient for the one marker. I really want to get some of these markers. <laughs> they are really cool. I think my boss has been talking to this company, so hopefully he'll get some samples and maybe I'll get a chance to, to try them out and everything and maybe use them in the studio. But definitely want to get some way on. So, But uh, that'll about do it for today. We're going to head on back and uh, see what's going on with the process of the comic book. Back in the studio and working once again on the thumbnails to issue four of Young and the Dead. Uh, the first scene here, we're kind of getting an over, uh, overhead view of a street scene. If you watch the other comics, there was a there's a car collision featuring a few couple of our characters, and we're going to follow their story for I don't know a page or two. Um, I think just this page, and then we're going to segue. I like to, if you haven't read my books, I, I it usually isn't the 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 narrative isn't usually like straight through. I usually cut back to a number of different scenes and things, which I guess is typical, but I have seen comics where it just, you start at one point and you follow that all the way through. But there's a number of characters involved in my story, so I have to, you know, kind of keep cutting back to show you what, what they're doing. So this, here in this page, this is another uh, set of characters, but again, we're moving along with this thumbnailing process. This is sped up uh, quite a bit. This is, you know, 30 minutes again, or maybe a little more than 30 minutes compressed into about a minute, but but that's about all the time I'm getting to put in the comic book still. Um, I'm hoping to find one of those days where I can just spend like, if I could spend like a whole day just on the comic, that would be great, but just editing and putting the, these you know, vlogs together takes quite a bit amount of time, which does take away from the comic book making process, but I think it's important. Um, so I'm going to keep doing it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that, but that's it for today on the comic. All right, we just keep pushing along. Today, day 27 is over. So we take this, we crumble it up, and we say goodbye to day 27. We're going to throw that in the bin, but Man, that, that bin is getting fuller and fuller. It is like overflowing now. I don't know what it's gonna look like by the end of day 100. Man, that's a lot of trash. We don't have a cleaning crew down here, so. But anyway, I'll see you guys later, that is all.
Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at surfworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this series, there's much more to come.